energy start is Nathan Byrne. He didn't seem particularly popping early on, but we are only early on. That ball gifted somewhat to Brentford, and they can come forward. Here's Tony. It's a lovely ball through and a big chance. And hang on a second, that is a penalty. David Webb points to the spot. Buchanan, the guilty party. It's Brian and Buemo who's brought to the ground. Derby created so many of their own problems here. Tony's ball through, and Buemo's first touch was taking him away from goal. But he's bundled down, it will be a spot kick. Looking for goal 27 of the season. Ivan Tony. And he gets it. Bottom left hand corner, his eighth from the spot this season. What a year he is having. The league's best frontman scores yet again. And Brentford lead by a goal to nil, and they lead early. A simple penalty sends the keeper the wrong way. Derby have got a lot to think about after just seven minutes. Almost impudent, really. It's a lovely ball through and another very early chance, and Buemo's free. Brian and Buemo wide of goal. Switch out to this left hand side of the Brentford attack. It's dropped nicely as well on this left hand side. One or two options in the end. It's deflected wide. In comes the corner kick. Still inside the area. Tony lays it off. Drilled. Straight into the body of a Derby County player. Pressure still on from the bees. Clip back into the was the back post and that's a very good punch from the keeper still problems and well there's claims of a handball I think here and Buemo is certainly claiming something let's see here clipped in into the ground the keeper does what the keeper can do there are questions there about Wisdom's arm Derby starting to hurry and press a little more. Haven't beaten Brentford in the last four head-to-head -head meetings. Two draws and two losses since uh, September 2018. And here come Brentford again. Plenty forward for the away side. Canors, 2-0. Goal seven of the season. Brentford's counter-attack is incisive. And Derby are going to have to go some to rescue this game now. Burn jogs away. Great work in the centre circle. Canos had a lot of options here as well. A couple of teammates who may have been frustrated if he hadn't scored. But he slots it home beautifully. Brought into the side this evening. He puts his side two goals to the good up. Wayne Rooney has got some work to do at half-time, there is no question about that. Brentford will lead, and they deserve it as well. well already Derby have shown a bit more pep in their step in the opening minute or so of this second half. And they did through much of the first. Just a nice little knock forward. Side against Stead, taking the free kick, goes instead towards Byrne, Lee Gregory, well, barely on the field for a few minutes. Again, Derby looked like an entirely different team in this second half, that is a beautiful ball forward, the flag has stayed down. There's a couple of options inside the penalty area, it's going to be out for a corner kick instead. Corner kick, Derby County. Punch on the keeper's arm, it's still not anywhere close to clear here. Tony tries to get it, it almost finds its way past the onrushing keeper. Rea keeps it out. Wisdom's taking his time with his free kick. Oh, it comes in the end. This could be dangerous in fact for Derby County, the ball again. Sky high inside the penalty area. Sibley 
drills into the arms of Raya. Derby just prodding and probing, trying to find that gap, trying to find some way of getting themselves back into this game. Still not clear here from Brentford. Not been brilliant defensively in this second half. Here's Sibley. Oh, that's a wonderful goal! He scores almost exclusively brilliant goals, Louis Sibley.